What's up, guys? <clears throat> so, um, just want to talk about uh, my recent trip to um, Brazo Spin with my rooftop tent. Uh, this will be a quick video. Um, I'll show some highlights uh, after I say what I'm going to say. So, like I said before, my intentions of the uh, of building uh, a rooftop tent or doing the the DIY method, right? It was. Uh, I just didn't know if I wanted to sink a thousand dollars into one, um, and, and and like I said, I've only got I got two trips, um, two trips under my belt on the one that I've built, and uh, so first trip out, um, we didn't have a rain fly, and a lot of you guys had uh, messaged me during the build as I was sharing the uh, build progress that. I would need a rain fly because uh, in, a, in wet conditions um, that tent material was going to work. Even though I did the waterproofing on the tent material, which did help, it helped a lot. Um, but it, condensation was also an issue. So if I hadn't done the waterproofing, I think condensation would have been better that first trip out. Um, but it trapped a lot of condensation in. It was really cold, and I just I made a I made a rookie mistake. Um, something I knew better just using tents in general um, that I closed off all the windows and doors to try to keep the uh, you know keep some heat in well that was that was dumb that was really dumb don't do that uh, if you want condensation in your tent that's a surefire way to do it just close everything off I didn't have a heater no buddy heater uh, nothing um, so if you've watched that, that video of that first trip uh, you'll see you know, my daughter had went with us and we let her um, use the heater in her tent, which also sweated because it was closed off completely too. So just uh, something I haven't dealt with a whole lot in the, in the past. Um, usually go camping in uh, uh, like summertime or whatever. So never, never really had an issue of heat buildup inside the tent. It's always been the same temperature outside. Anyway, but all that being said, so this time we did the, uh, the rain fly and uh, it was a little chilly um not as cold as it got the first trip but it it was chilly um what i did though i put the rain fly on i opened um i opened the windows and actually left the door i i closed off all the screens right the door screen um on that wakeman tent and um it i left the screen closed so the bugs wouldn't get in and I also had a fan. So we were camping somewhere with electricity. Um, so I wanted to make sure this time that we totally just did our best to uh, alleviate the uh, condensation. And I sleep with a fan anyway. So uh, sometimes, like I love being outdoors. Like it's, it's my tranquil place. And I know some of you guys are like, oh, you know, and I even say it about music, right? When I go camping, somebody's blaring music. I'm like, man, you're kind of missing the point of being out here. Uh, but, so uh, I've used the fan and I actually, you know, when I sleep at night, I, I just have a hard time sleeping, uh, even in my own home. And I use a fan, uh, fan noise along with, uh, I got a Google um, uh, thing right next to my bed and uh, it plays like a songs for sleep thing off Spotify, you know, most of the night to get me to sleep. Uh, it's very tranquil, right? It, it helps. Anyway, said all that to say this, I brought a fan use my phone to do all the same stuff um i actually slept so much better i actually felt like you know not completely like home because obviously you know you can't every time one of us moved right the whole jeep kind of shakes back and forth so it slept good we used the fan i actually clamped the fan to the bar you know up um kind of up overhead and uh left the fan on low all night and uh zero absolutely no condensation in the tent um now there was some condensation build up um on the rain fly up underneath not dripping but i mean like when you touch it obviously you know you can't help it so heat's gonna go somewhere so the heat was getting out of the tent but it wasn't getting out of getting through the rain fly so it didn't affect us it didn't sweat uh that was one of the miserable things is on top of the cold the walls were sweating the first time and like my wife's hair would touch the water and that just bugged her right she's a she's she just she doesn't like stuff like that um and me too, like I'd roll over, my arm would touch that wet 
cold tent wall and I, it just it was freezing anyway so uh, so we eliminated that um, I do believe with that setup that I used this time using the tarp obviously uh, I think I'd be able to use something like a buddy heater uh, if I needed to um, but I'm in South Texas so it's not like it gets super cold all the time um, second thing was I was worried about wind um, it was pretty windy um, we were like kind of enclosed in some trees um, it, you'll see some of the pictures I think you'll be able to tell that uh, I didn't get a lot of video while we were going uh, it was me and my wife we just kind of needed to get away uh, I wanted to try the tent out uh, honestly once I got there I had I took all my camera gear had everything ready um, and honestly I'm sure some of you can relate I just had a good time and I just didn't want to pull it out it, it's kind of a pain sometimes so I apologize for not videoing more on our trip uh, our next trip to Brazos uh, I will do it with the intentions of uh, kind of video in the surroundings more and and the trails and stuff because it, it's pretty cool um, we're wanting to do like a Sam Houston National Forest to go go make a run up there but I'm using Brazos so, so some of you guys that are watching this that are wanting to get into this um, the reason I'm going to Brazos Bend is because it is literally like 17 miles from my house. Uh, if something goes wrong, something major happens, the tent busts and I don't have something with me, I can just run back to the house. And what I'm trying to do is, uh, and I know I'm talking in big circles here, so I'm just trying to give you an idea of where I'm at with the, with the tent project. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to decipher um, what, what is it that I need. Um, total bare essentials right um, I've got this uh, I've got this camo uh, camping bag right and it's got it's got um, extra water bottles it's got um, I, I carried an extra sleeping bag just in case and it it's got my mosquito um, the, the the bug thing <laughs> I forgot what it's called right now but uh, it's got the mosquito repellent um, knives, you know, I think some of my cookware if I needed it, we haven't even cooked yet, right? Both trips we actually just took food prepared and just ate right out of a cooler, uh, which is fine, right? We're, we're probably going to do that a lot anyway. Um, so the reason I was going to Brazos is just trying to decide what we need. I think we got a pretty good idea. Our next trip out, we're going to, we're going to go the cooking route and see what we need to, um, efficiently cook uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do maybe take uh, I mean there's grills there but I think I need to, to find something that I can take with me uh, I don't know what else I'm gonna do to the Jeep to prepare that I kind of almost want to um, if my daughter's not gonna be with me and I can take the back seat out of my Jeep like that I've got room to put more stuff inside the Jeep I don't have to worry about strapping it on top um, so I could put like a camp kitchen box uh, it's just for that in there so anyway um so back to the tent uh, i got a comment on facebook uh mentioning that someone was going to start a uh, a new build and uh sorry um and they were talking about they got the red tent the red wakeman tent and right out of the box or right out of the packaging um they felt like the uh the material was already raveling um let's see i'm going to edit out some of this what should be able to so chris um siroki siroki uh, i'm sorry i apologize if i'm mispronouncing your name um uh, said you know literally just watched your build last night before joining the group the diy uh rooftop tent group uh he said it come out great and then uh, let's see chris that's chris there how was the Wakeman tent held up so far? There we go. So Chris said, how was the Wakeman tent held up so far in terms of dexterity? I got the red one to start my tent build and the seams are already unraveling out of the box. Um, and then Daniel Gihon, I think, is how you pronounce that name. He said, uh, that's disheartening. I was just about to order mine. Um, so, so let me just say this about the Wakeman tent. Um, my intentions of this build um, were, and I've said this before, uh, is to see if I like it 
And if I do, I'm gonna do one of two things, right? I'm either going to rebuild the Wakeman tent out of better material, or I'm gonna go ahead and take that step forward and invest in something that I know that I'll use. And that's kind of where I'm at. I, 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 was, I was on the fence. I was ready to, uh, I was almost ready to spend 1,000, 1,500 bucks for a good tent. I'm a heavy guy, uh, and just a, on a note, I threw, since I started the build till now, or since I started with the idea, let me just say that. I've lost about 50 pounds, right? So I'm, I'm, I am now within range of what some of the rooftop tent, the heavy duty rooftop tent makers are saying uh, in a weight range. Before I was over it. Um, in January of 2020, I don't know when you're gonna be watching this video, January 2020, I was 360 pounds, heaviest I've ever been in my life. Um, 2020, um, I just decided, you know, with the COVID stuff, um, I was uh, running. I was had just got into the realm of type uh, type two diabetes. I guess taking metformin. Uh, blood work sucked, right? High blood pressure on the verge of, of high blood pressure. They put me on a blood pressure pill. Just taking all these pills every day, and and uh, I was like, you know what? I'm I'm only 41 years old. I shouldn't be doing this. And I love to live life, as you can tell, watching my videos. I'm not the most exciting person in the world. I'm not skydiving and whatnot but i like to do stuff um i like to play ooh, over here i like to play music i like you know i just i like activities anyway so uh so i was on the verge of uh buying a tent or i'll rebuild the wakeman tent out of something better or you just kind of use it as a template um so that's where i was at so that didn't bother me it, has it raveled out is there some problems with the Wakeman tent? Yeah, yeah, there, there were. Um, I literally, um, while I was sewing, like it, this began as a no-sew tent project, uh, but I, I ended up buying a, a, a sewing machine. Um, I did sew up a few places. I trimmed some things off after taking the poles out. Um, what else? Yeah, so the quality of it isn't the greatest, but I will say this, as I've stretched it over that frame the way I've got it to try to eliminate as much um, wind flapping during, in a windy environment. I did a good job of that, by the way, because the wind was blowing uh, really, really hard uh, on our trip and I didn't notice anything. You know, it didn't keep me up. It didn't bother me. Uh, what did keep me up was the same as last trip was um, uh, squirrels in the trees. So the tent, the tent's doing good. Uh, next trip out, I think we're gonna try um, just adding to the, you know, I call it overlanding. We're just glampers, honestly. Um, I love the term overlanding. It sounds cool, uh, but honestly, we just camp. I, you know, I hear arguments all the time. What is overlanding? And you got to be off road and blah blah blah. You know what? I'm 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 out and I'm doing it right. I'm <laughs> who cares. Uh, I got four-wheel drive, I got a Jeep, I've got a big truck four-wheel drive, and sooner or later maybe I'll strap my rooftop tent to, to a rack in the back of my truck. Uh, but for now, you know, it is what it is. Um, but I'm wanting to incorporate uh, the rooftop tent camping scenario into my uh, kayak fishing and try to let the rooftop tent get me out there a little more, you know, somewhere I can go and stay overnight, wake up early the next morning, hit the water and, uh, and be good. Um, so all that being said, uh, that is trip number two in the books. Um, I don't know what else to say, guys. Uh, hit me with your comments down below. Um, thanks for the, the likes and subscribes. And, and once again, I don't do this to make money. I'm not making money on YouTube. I've only got like 200 something. I don't even know what the count is at the moment. Uh, it does help me to get more subscribers. Uh, I do get, uh, I, at one time it was, uh, I was getting like free stuff, right? People would ask me to, to um, uh, do reviews of things. Uh, and I would love to get back to that status because hey, who doesn't like to get free stuff to try out? Um, so yes, eventually it'll help me, but I'm not trying to be rich off this. You can watch my channel. I do it for me. I do it uh, to just like document uh, my family and my life and whatnot. Um, I do got some uh, some life stuff, right? Today is, uh, today is New Year's Eve, but I'm gonna do a separate video 
uh, on some other things I wanted to talk about. So that's it guys. Trip two in the books. Um, thanks for keeping up with this uh, rooftop tent build. And um, if you're watching this because of the, the Jeep build, right, the, my next vid is going to be uh, probably leaning more toward the, like I said, the cook kitchen type scenario and kind of cleaning up um, what I've decided that I needed, kind of cleaning that up and bringing it a little more into a nice package. So, all right, guys, peace out. All right, guys, hope the wind's not bad. It probably is. I'm trying to hold my hand close to the phone. Um, quick pack up. We're gonna go do another uh, run with the tent. Uh, this time, this time, just me and the wife. Man, the wind's horrible. Took the back seat out of the Jeep, so this time it's just a single vehicle. If you noticed before, um, we took uh, the truck as well before, just in case we had any issues. Uh, this time, though, I think we're good. Uh, but, got the tent folded up i folded it out yesterday just to make sure everything's still secured and good uh actually figured out how to on the jeep install the um the makeshift rain fly and uh so anyway so that's on there and when we get there i will fold that out and show you guys what it looks like um all right later